That is a good life. Mm. Ah, there's so many levels to that, so many parts. As someone who has always been poor, a good life is being able to pay the rent and put food on the table for your kids. You know, there's that. It's simple, you know. But <laughs> there's, so, there's so much more, isn't there? For me, a good life. So uh, so one of the things that, I, that I'm kind of wondering with <clears throat> constantly, you know, in all the questions of what, what is the best that I can do? What is the, the place in which I can apply uh, my, my efforts and my skills to maximum effect to, you know, in, increase the general happiness of the universe or whatever it might be? What I, I go through cycle upon cycle upon cycle of that question. You know, and different answers come up and different answers come up. But the one that I return to again and again and again is to know the, the nature of your soul image and to then live that. It's not only what brings us the gift of being in alignment with our own nature and resolves all, all manner of neurotic uh, and existential threads of conflict because we're actually doing what we what we are yeah but it also seems to be the best answer that i have to that constant question of what should i do what should i do in the face of you know in environmental degradation and the uh, desecration of the earth in terms of gaza in terms of uh, sudan wherever all the stuff uh, or the conflicts in my son's playground or blah, 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 is like, okay, yes, there's right action and kind of all of these kind of uh, codes we could live by. But underneath all that, and probably one of the petals of that, that flower that I'm talking about, the, the kind of overlap in territories, one of the key petals of that is, do you know what you're here for? And are you getting on with it? Yeah. And there are a million conversations that come off of that in terms of how we can bullshit ourselves and how do you really know and la 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 and all of that. And isn't it just kind of inflated pomposity to have a sense of I am this? Um, and then, you know, trying to live by that. All of that's true. All I can speak about is my experience of undergoing that first fast in Wales 20 years ago, coming out the other side, carrying this thing of you are a warrior poet, yeah, uh, or a poet warrior, and going, I don't know what that means, but I also know what that means, yeah. This is new information, but this is also old information that I'm, that I'm carrying. What do I do with that? You know, my life as it is now is my best attempt thus far to to live that um and i know that when i'm doing that you know the way opens the universe flows the wind is behind me and when i'm trying to do something else you know everything just kind of stutters and stops and starts and so i pray for everyone to have that experience uh, in some shape or form of getting that glimpse of their soul kernel and then getting to live it out because it's like, fuck me, that's, that's life in another dimension, you know, and um, I feel blessed to have, have had that opportunity.